Hi folks. Well, here we are finally after months of planning and I'm very glad to say we're at CAE here in uh, Gatwick uh, Simulation Test Centre and I'm very glad to be here with our good friend, good friend of mine, Zane Dunning. How are you doing, Zane? Hi, Joey. How's it going? All right? I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Fantastic. Yeah, very well. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be back at Virgin, of course. Yes, it's brilliant. We're, we're, we're very lucky, actually. Yeah. Um, very, very lucky, as you know, um, to be kept on during the pandemic. Um, also being on the, the retiring fleet. <laughs> yes. I've been very, very lucky to A, have a job and B, to get trained on to uh, the latest aircraft here at Virgin. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of a lot of our uh, audience will remember you uh, from the 747, uh, that, that amazing 747 uh, last flight out of uh, London Heathrow with Virgin Atlantic. And uh, boy, were we lucky to get that shot. Absolutely, because uh, yeah. if it had have been non-pandemic, we would have had aircraft lined all the way up again along that taxiway. So we got the full shot. And um, just to, uh, to let people know exactly how it looked, uh, here is that 747 departure with you at the control zone and that big, long wing wave. Jilly, run VT. Thanks. out so well that day Zane it really did and uh, it was great to have you and Mark Thacker and uh, Carl Bilcliffe that's correct of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with us top on the guys, day top guys they were yes. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean I mean uh, of course you miss the aircraft but uh, it must be uh, it must be um, an amazing thing to come back on something that is so modern now uh, with the 787 yeah I, this is you know 40 years of advancement in technology the, the 747 was designed in the early 50s as you know and um, so this is real, you know, 20, 21st century stuff. As you can see, it's, got, it's a beautiful cockpit. It's really nice and quiet, and it's absolutely a dream to fly, forgive the pun. Um, so, yeah, very lucky to still have a job and uh, to be conferred on something new. Yeah, and of course, uh, the 787, uh, I was talking to another pilot the other day about the, uh, the comfort, uh, and I felt it myself because I've flown with Virgin on the 787 before, but the comfort the sheer comfort on board the aircraft because uh, one small thing that people don't realize is that on on stand on, on sort of like um uh, normal aircraft should we say yeah um traditional aircraft the uh, okay. the, the, the the air that's fed into the oh, cabin okay, is yeah, bleed so air yeah. off the engines uh, whereas this is fresh air so I'm making yeah so on, on conventional aircraft you don't get the air from the engines it, 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 it's before it goes into the engines that's air is taken off and that's what pressurizes the cabin um on this you have it's pure air goes directly from outside through uh, air compressors and then into the cabin. Yeah, so, so it so does make a difference. After if, you know when you get off like a fourteen-hour flight, it, it feels great. You feel like you've just done a six-hour flight. Instead. Yeah, yeah, and and because of the uh, is it because of the carbon fuselage as well that the, the reason why you can uh, pressurize it at a lower altitude. You can put a bit more pressure in there. That that's correct. So um, typical cruising altitudes will be about four and a half to five thousand feet, whereas traditionally they might be up about know six to eight thousand feet right so that that will help you, you know your, your well-being as well yeah and of course there are humidifiers as well which helps well I mean I have to say um, virgin in terms of what their uh, their future looks like um, and it looks bright um, because the, 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 the plan is to have such a, a very young fleet with the 350s, uh, the 787s, of course, and uh, the, the old 330s. Well, not the old 330s, but the 330s that they currently have are going to be switched out to the newer 330 Neos. So a very Correct. young fleet. Yep, they're coming uh, later on in the year, uh, I believe. And uh, yeah, every, everything is uh, nice and new. You, you will see lots of... Um, X747 pilots are always moan because they're not flying around on four engines anymore. You know, when those aircraft were first conceived, 
Um, engine reliability is not what it is today, so that threat was mitigated by having four engines. Uh, whereas now, engines are so much more reliable than they used to be, you know, you only need two. So it's better for all concerned, it's better for the environment, it's better for fuel burn, um, it, and they're much more uh, economical to run as well. Yeah, uh, I mean, it is overall, it's just a, a much better, the super twins, as we call them, are just a, yeah. a much better bet in terms of the, the environmental impact. That they yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This aircraft was uh, one of the first things I noticed when I came on is how little fuel it burns. It, it literally just sniffs fuel, you know, and it does. The, the fuel burn on it is, is just amazing. It's really, really economical. Yeah, and of course, the Trent engines, the Rolls Royce engines, uh, very, very uh, efficient. Yes. Um, yeah, you're, you're about to find that out, Jerry. Yeah, you're gonna, I am. You're going to love it. I am. Yeah. Uh, see how powerful they really are. Yeah. Um, so, just a quick question, mate. Where were you on the 18th of February? 18th, 18th of February. I was actually watching Big Jet TV were with you a big really? mug of cup of tea. Yes. <laughs> Very large mug of tea. <laughs> Very large, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I think probably over eight like, hours or so, that needed <laughs> filling up a few times. Didn't yeah, it? It did. yeah, I think the whole country was watching, but yeah. obviously that's well what done. we're it was here. A brilliant show, yeah. Thank you, sir. That, that, yeah. That's what we're here to uh, today to obviously uh, reenact. Uh, are those are those scenarios on approach um, to uh, yeah. runway 27 left at London Heathrow with Brilliant. 70 mile an hour gusting winds. I mean, yeah. that's yeah, it just was, uh, it doesn't happen incredible. very often, but it, it does happen from time to time. As, yeah. As you see, yeah, but that's where the, the skills mm. of the pilots really comes into it, doesn't it? I mean, it, it, it's it's something that every pilot can handle, obviously. Yeah. So as you hear it, you know, we come in here at CAE every six months and we practice skills that you need that you don't use very often all right um, and that'll be one of the things that you need to be proficient with um, so talking about crosswinds yes um, so there are three different techniques that you can apply when you're doing a crosswind landings um, the uh, the first one is what's called a uh, it's like a side step where you actually cross the control which is kind of more pertinent to uh, light aircraft or high wing aircraft because the main threat of landing with a crosswind is scraping the underneath of the engine because the engines on big jets are underneath the wing so the ground proximity is a bit reduced. So that's not uh, you know, an applicable method. Um, the second method is um, where you fly approach on a crab which you're, s which you're used to seeing and landing with that crab on. Okay, That's a perfectly acceptable technique for landing However, um, the, the downside of that technique is as you've got 300 tons of inertia going in that direction, that's where the aircraft is going to go when you marry up with the ground. And with that, you'll get a swing as soon as you touch down. As the aircraft swings around, the upwind wing will travel faster than the downwind wing and therefore produce more left. And then you'll get a wing drop, which is perfectly fine. But there is a threat with that as in hitting the pod and you have to very fast with the aileron. So what most transport size aircrafts do is a compromise of the two methods where you will fly a crab on the approach and then you remove the crab when you flare the aircraft. Okay, And that is where the skill comes in is when you do that. Because if you take the crab off too soon, you're still exposed to the crosswind element and you end up going towards the grass. And if you end up doing it too late, you land with a bit of crab on, which is fine. Probably a little bit of crab on is not a bad thing in extreme wind conditions because for the spoilers to come up, you need wheel spin up on both sides. So landing both wheels at the same time, you'll get a faster reaction for the lift pumps to come up. So if, right? you, if, if, you, if you land on one set, it does... does it, the wheel still, the lift dumpers deploy. won't come up until you get a wheel spin up on both sides. Right, All right. right. I see. Um, yeah. So it is technically slightly better. We're talking really minute um, yes. affecting the performance. So the, the idea is in those conditions is to remove most, if not all, of the crab yes. by the time you touch down. Yes. And you want to get the weight on the wheels as soon as you can so you can deploy the lift dumpers, and then that's when the brakes become really effective. And there's right. a lot going on there, isn't there? There's a, there's a yeah. lot, your, 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 your manual on the throttles? As a, as a SOP, uh, our standard operating procedure, we fly automatic throttles on this aircraft. So 777, 787s, we use manual thrust. 
all other bearings you don't because of the pitch power coupling so because the engines are underneath the wings if you imagine if you've got two strings on the engine and you pull the nose will pitch up and likewise if you reduce the power the nose will drop because we have fly by wire wire aircraft this gets eradicates all of that so it so makes it a lot easier for me then today. it makes it a lot easier for you yeah, yeah. yeah. so which is a good thing yeah I think you're let. I think you're uh, having us on here, Joe. I think you're going to do really no, well. No, no, no. We'll, yeah, we'll I think see. you've been secretly practicing. We'll yeah, see. without telling us. That's where you've gone for the last three months. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Where's he been? He's been practicing on flight since yeah. 2000. Yeah, I'm fully qualified. Yeah, I wonder what all those questions uh, are that you asked me for. Uh, just call me Captain <laughs> Dyer, would you? All right, Captain uh, Dyer. Yeah, yeah, sorry, no, sorry. So, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, we we we've got a couple of examples that we're going to play out now um, yeah. of uh, both Virgin aircraft. Uh, one in particular is uh, is a go around procedure. Uh, the other one is, is uh, I think the first one is, is uh, he's getting it on the deck, but you can definitely see that sort of like the skills that you, you that you talked about just then in terms of, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, getting taken out the crab and, uh, yeah. and, and then the other one is the go around procedure, which is, of course, uh, this particular one, I believe, is a wind shear. It's go a around. wind shear go around, that's, that's because, correct. So yeah. he leaves the gear, he leaves the gear down for a certain amount of time. Correct. So when you uh, you want to get out of a wind shear situation, um, you you basically when you it would be instinctive to try and raise the gear, but as soon as you raise the gear, all the transition doors open. That's a lot of drag. The last thing you want is extra drag in that situation. So the procedure is toga. You go around and you just go in a straight line and you keep going up until you are out of the wind shear situation i see That's well, it. Uh, and, and and i see a little black button on the side of the, st uh, the, the column here is that is that's that for that's for disconnecting the auto thrust okay yeah and the toga that's the toga button there you're, you're going to come very familiar with that today I reckon, okay yeah. okay all right. There, all right <laughs> remember that's toga yes that's it. yeah so when you when you call out toga i just hit that button yes. and then i have to still manually uh, apply a climb a yes climb out. so just remember press push and pull Okay. So, press toga, just straighten your arms with the power, okay. simultaneously pitch up to about 8 degrees. I see. All right? okay. If you look at yeah. your Kind of aircraft, where it is at the moment. In a yeah, that, that's so 8 degrees on the flight director. Okay, so It'll be just easy get on to that point. Yes, there you go. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work Because when we're on Do approach, that. of course, that pink line will be dead in the... Of course, it will yeah. be, won't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. say yeah. it will be. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so it, it's. Um, we'll talk through it as we do it. It'll yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, so let's uh, let's let's play out those two little VTs now, GP, if we can, uh, just to uh, just to get people in the mood. You want VT, please, GP? The Virgin Atlantic jet could be Zane Dunning. Go on, son. Oh, this really is, I think, the calm before the storm, man. You can kind of see it on the horizon there. Ooh, fair play. <laughs> Bring it in, son, right? my main concern is the whole uh, is the whole crabbing element of it you know the the, uh, the, the keeping the aircraft on a, on a straight track but also 
uh, sideways because when we were filming it, uh, you could see, I mean, especially the bigger aircraft with that huge, great big uh, tail fin, you know, you can see that the whole yeah. thing's literally flying, you know, like so, this. So yeah, if, yeah. If, if the first officer's flying it in, you know, uh, well, sorry, the captain's flying it in, he would have been almost looking out the side, side of the windows, uh, side, yeah. of the side yeah. windows. But again, it's something that you guys train for, so it's, it's, it's yeah, nothing it's, new, it's, really. Do it every six months uh, in the simulator, at least. Um, and then, uh, obviously, uh, you, you know, on the line, it will always look a lot more dramatic from the outside, as you'll see from inside. Yeah. Okay. So that's hopefully something you'll get yeah. out of this. Yeah. We'll talk you through landings as we go. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to do. You're gonna <laughs> yeah, you're going to do a really good job. Okay. Yeah. So, so earlier on, um, just to show us how it is done and how it uh, how it's done professionally. Of course, how all of you guys uh, handle it. We had uh, senior captains John Padden and Mark Bishton down here at CAE, and yep. um, they um, they showed us exactly how it's done. Uh, we can run that VT now. VT3, please, GP. Hi, I'm Mark Bishton. This is John Padden, and we're down at the uh, 787 Simulator Training Center at CAE in Gatwick. You're about to see Jerry from Big Jet TV going in and trying to land this in uh, Storm Eunice conditions, but uh, in true Blue Peter style, here's one we made earlier with John showing us how to do it properly. Should we go and give it a go? Approaching minimums. Check. Minimums. Continue. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Speed brakes up. Versus normal. Checklist complete. Thank you. 
500. Check. 33 from the left. Approaching minimums. Check. Minimums. Continue. 32 from the left. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Speed breaks up. For those of you watching Storm Eunice on Big Jet TV, you will have seen that some aircraft had to go around due to the conditions on the day. We're going to simulate now a go around, which looks scary from the outside, but inside, as you can see, it's a procedure that we practice very often and it's very calm inside the flight deck. The aircraft tells us when it's unsafe to land by calling wind shear, and we will basically put the aircraft in a state to go around and go back into the air. We'll leave our landing gear and our flaps in the same configuration until it's safe to bring the landing gear and the flaps back up. And then we will vector ourselves around for another approach and landing. 1,000. This is very set. Check. Approaching minimums. Check. Speed. Minimums. Wind shear. Wind shear toga. Wind shear. One hour. About 20 knots slow at the moment, but we are climbing. Speed's holding. 2,000 feet a minute, ready to climb. Speed's recovering, only about 5 knots slow now. Go around flat 20, please. 20, what's the brakes? You're up. From the controls. controls. Okay. And then... And you're calling out your... I'll uh, do the your... calls for you. The yep. aircraft will call V1. Yep. I'll call rotate. And then on the HUD, aircraft symbol. Yep. Slowly up to the dotted line. You right, The dotted line's not there, yeah? No. But that'll be your 8 degrees. That'll be my... Your, the toga okay. reference line. Okay. Yep. And that'll be for the go-round as well. You okay. go onto that dotted line. I'm Just with you. put that right. wing okay. onto that dotted line, yep. okay? Yep. Okay. Then after that, as you're climbing away, you'll see the two circles. Yes. You know about the two circles? No. So the small circle is the flight director. Yes. The big circle is you. Okay. So yep. you put... The Got to big, get the two married up. Yeah, you put okay. your big circle yep. over the small circle. Okay. It will feel like you're doing this. But okay. The aircraft will look like it's flying perfectly. Okay. So lots of small inputs. Yep. Uh, and it will feel like you're just going all over the place. Yep. But you want small, in, none of this. No. Right, just no. small inputs. Yep. Yep. All right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. We, are we live, GP? Okay. Zane. Um, uh, that's that's fantastic. Thank you, thank you once again to John and Mark, um, senior captains, for uh, for giving us that uh, great insight into how it's really done. Um, and now uh, it's time for yours truly to have a go. So I think go. the best thing what we're going to do is um, we got John behind us. Hello, John. Hi, welcome aboard. John, thank you, sir. Uh, John's going to be basically acting as our ATC and controlling the aircraft in terms of the inputs and the weather and all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, I'm basically flying the airplane well uh, you and I 
Um, but Captain I, Zaya is in yeah, full control Zaya. today. Okay, right, we'll have a go. <laughs> um, but, um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a push and start first and uh, call the tug up and, um, yep. and see if we, can get a, if we can get this thing um, pushed back and started. Okay. So I'll leave that to you, Zaya. Okay. Copy to hello. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we it's are it's ready for your check, sir. Yeah, I can uh, confirm all cargo doors closed and latched, all cabin doors closed, all gear pins are removed. Steering bypass pin is fitted and you clear the pressurizers. Clear the pressurizers and hydraulics now. Okay, so we've actually done that already to save, save a bit of time. So we would ask ATC to push back now and they say, yes, senor, you can go. And I uh, will just tell the uh, ground guy now. Okay, copy to ground, hello. Yep, go ahead. Okay, push back's approved, brake set to park. That's uh, copy, you can uh, release the brakes. Brakes release, push back approved. Okay, commencing the push. So you'll see, it will start pushing back any second now. Oh yes, yeah, here we see go. that? Oh, I got you, I got you. And if you could just let us know when you're happy, press the engine start please. Yeah, Wilco. Here, I'll tell you. Do you get Easy, uh, son. Easy, ground. son. Getting excited. <laughs> <Sorry. Right. laughs> <laughs> I was actually just looking for where it was. Yeah. Oh. Uh, fly the ground to your cleared start number two. Starting two. Okay, so start the right engine, please. That's it. You can let go. Perfect. So we'll just cover the fuel control switch. Now you can see N2. It's uh, starting to spin up now. So that's the internal part of the engine. If you look at the EGT, when the fuel gets introduced, that will certainly burst into love. So that's the ignition. The combustion. Start yeah. yeah. You have to wait to get to a certain RPM, otherwise it will go in the opposite direction because air naturally wants to go from high to low, but we right. want it to go from high to high. Right. So I we see. pressurize it first, then we introduce fuel, and then we light it. So that's the EGT rising. That's M1. That's the great big fan right at the front. So that's turning, so that's good. So that's your RPM for the big fan at the front, is it? Or Correct. Okay. It's done in percentage. Yes. Okay. So that's telling us the engine's running. Let me just cancel that. I don't know why it's doing that. John's probably frantically scratching away to try and cancel that. <laughs> and we, you can see all temperatures and pressures are rising. I'll just give him a minute to sort that out before we start the other engine. Let's uh, go. Okay, so that's... And copy to ground, ready to start. One, whenever you're ready. Yeah, you can start one. Starting one. Okay, you want to start the left engine, Jerry? Which is just there. Left engine start. Check. Set. And this is all electrical starting, isn't it? There's no. Uh, there's no. Tradition, it will be air oh, from okay. an APU. Yes. But on this aircraft, it's all electric. Everything's yeah. electric. The brakes are electric. The packs are electric. Perfect. Everything's electric. Yeah. Yeah. Flight deck ground. If you could uh, set the brakes park, that's push complete. So we always confirm with each other what we're doing at all times. So you can see the parking brake set. I'll say to you, the parking brake is set, and I'll tell him as well. That's brake set to park. Thank you. We'll wait until we've got a good start on the left engine before we get rid of him. Okay. Oh, I need to put my seatbelt on, don't I? That's good. <laughs> Uh, two good starts. You are clear to disconnect. So see the pin on the left hand side. Thank you, sir. I'll see you on the left hand side with the pin. Have a good trip. Thank you. Thank you. So we have a, they put a pin in the nose wheel which it disables the steering. So they're controlling the steering as they push us back. So we don't want to take off for that because we won't be able to steer. Yeah. So we make sure when we see the guy waving, he has that pin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes on the if you're on the left hand side of the aircraft, you see a guy waving with a pin, and that's what yes. you're saying. Like, Yes. That means your steering is going to work. See, there goes the tug. Can you see it? I got him. And if you look out on the left hand side, there's that guy just walking I away got there. Him. I got him. Yeah. 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 In your own time. He, he's going to uh, turn around. He's going to clear the wings first, so he's got a long way to work yes. before he yeah. gives us a thumbs up. He's a bit grumpy, this guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he's not very, very happy at all. Yeah. No. 
Oh, there, see, there's Tony Rapp. They're always happy again. And next, can you see the pin? So we wave. Yeah. Remove before flight and all that. That's it. Bye yeah. bye. Thank you, sir. Okay. So we wave him. Have a look at your side. We're all clear on this side, that all side. Yes. APU to go. And so we're going to turn off the APU. We need flat five for takeoff. Set flat fives, please. So pull up and. That's it. Good. It's a bit. On that one, say, flat five, on yeah. flat five, and then we'll just. This is obviously we normally have set procedures for each other, have, but in this case, we'll just do it to get yeah, going. Yeah, right. yeah. So the philosophy of the checklist, we do everything from memory, okay? Then we use the checklist after we've done them actually from memory to make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Some things in this aircraft, the aircraft senses, and some things it doesn't because you may not want to use things at a certain time. I see. Yeah. So. We are now, before we taxi, we did the before taxi jet list, anti-ice is in also, we may not need that, we'll check the recall, TCAS is off, put that on, flight controls, we'll do a little flight control check, and a ground equipment, okay? So, so flight control is like a free and full of free, it. yeah? Okay. Do you want to do it? No, no, you... you there you are, yep, coming yep. back. So that's your elevators, yeah? That's it. That's your ailerons. Ailerons and spoilers. Yeah. Yep. And then if you cover me on the rudders, put your feet on the rudders. Okay, left and right. There we are. Okay, and that's the uh, rudder. That's course. it. Yeah, yeah. So normally you would, you would call them out to me, and I will respond, and then we hand over control once we get going. Just so a flight quick controls. One, so okay. Yep. Just a quick one. Uh, in terms of the rudder, yep. is, is that is this at this stage connected both the rudder pedals and the and the tiller? Is are they both connected together? Yes. Or? So yes. the tiller we use when you're taxiing. Yeah. Yeah. When you're on the runway, yep. you use the rudder. Right. right. Okay. So okay. the tiller will give you seven degrees either side. The tiller will give you 72 degrees, something like that. It will give you a lot more. I see, right. I see. Okay. Um, okay, so ground equipment's clear. You're clear on your side. Four taxi checklists are complete. We're ready to go. Okay, right. So, you're going to taxi now? We'll you give it a little taxi. go. Um, yeah. We're okay. going straight ahead and then um, and then we'll to, the, to the left. Yeah? To the left, yeah. Uh, we need a little bit of Fletcher Mons, ready for taxi. Yeah. Fletcher one straight ahead on uh, Fox Hot, take left turn Bravo, hold Lockheed, so runway 27 left. Number two seven left, uh, straight ahead, uh, taxi on into Bravo and hold short, locky version one. All right, so I'll put the taxi lights on for you. So to release the brakes, just toe brakes. That's it, press down. That's it, a little bit more, that's it, there you go. Put your hand on the tiller, uh, on the tiller on the side. Yeah. A little bit of power, just to break away, just to get going, and then... And then we can and ease then, off. Yeah, back to idle again. Just that's to get it. it moving. There oh, you are. Okay. Can you feel that? Yeah, I can feel that moving. There we go. Okay, Whoa. that's enough. And then back, back to idle. And we're off. Whoa. Okay, that's all you need. So you're, you're back at idle now. Okay, it's not too bad. Yeah, okay. Hello, hello. All right, so when we um, approach the turn, yes. you can go a little bit more power now if you want. The main wheel's about 100 feet behind us. So you want to go past the turn and then before you put the input in, like driving a, an articulated lorry. I see, yes, 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 yes. So yes. We'll keep it going, I'll tell you yeah. when. Yeah, so the yeah. centre line of where we're going to taxi on this taxiway Bravo here, when that pretty much comes up to your shoulder, yeah, all right? Yeah, now I'm then going to turn now, yeah? yeah. Not, Am I a little bit too early? A bit early, a bit, bit too soon there, Jerry, yeah, but we'll live with that, yeah. yeah all right, right, okay, right. the camera, that's nice. Yeah, okay, a little bit more power. Yeah, oh, that's okay. it. So as, as you do turn, the speed will scrub off slightly. Yeah, all right, so you've got to done, yeah, you've anticipate got to sort that of keep slightly. That yeah, that's it. Okay, keep that right. center line there. Nice. Okay, that's it. That's it. Just come around further to the left. How does that look to you? So you want to a little bit more. So so where does, does that look to you? That, 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 that kind of feels all right because right. because I, I want to. The center line needs to be over here, doesn't it? Rather yeah. Than so we need like to come left. Okay. So you, basically, you want that or in the um, yellow line to run down your inner leg. Okay. That's how you want it to look. I've got you. I've got you. All right. Yeah, nice. A bit too much. Throttle. That's right. That's okay. good. You come back. That's all. You use the power to break yeah. away. Yeah. Let and it roll. Then let it roll. And let it roll. And as you okay. see, we're taxiing past the Queen over here on the left oh, hand we side. Are, we are. So we have to salute the 747. Yes, uh, of good course, morning, as we go past. Goodbye. I'm going to get all tearful now. Yeah. Yeah. Get emotional. Should Should you money contact the uh, tower now, 118505. 118505, 
on the way out we would have a little chat about departure what we're going to do we have a little mnemonic we use as rise where we double check we've got the correct departure in the box yes we double check the runway that we have in the fmc we double check what altitude we're going to go to and we double check if there are any emergency turns we and that, all that. that altitude is all all that stuff is preset is it or? it's preset we we've got a clearance when we're on the ground from air traffic control they've given us a uh, cocktail right. departure in this instance and we've read it back to them okay so we've done our checks, and you'll probably ask me for the uh, before takeoff checklist. Okay, uh, before takeoff checklist. Stand by one, and I'll just make sure that we have terrain on there. And as this aircraft senses it, we don't have to read out all the elements. I will look at that. Everything's green, and I'll just say the checklist complete. And then you have a quick glance to make sure I'm not lying to you. Good stuff. And you say gotcha. the checklist is complete. So we checklist both check it independently. Complete. Thank you. Excellent. So where are we going up to, Link? So we're going to a place called Lockie. Okay. If you came straight ahead, it's by Terminal 2. You see that little red sign to the left? Yeah, I gotcha. That's yeah. Lockie. Okay. This is uh, another advantage of the aircraft. You've got the taxi charts actually on your navigation screen, which yes. is... Uh, yes, yes. So we've still got some, quite some distance. Oh, there we are, that's south there. Yeah, yeah okay, See? I've got you all mine now. So that's, it's really good, that's a, a nice speed, and you're nicely on the centre line. Yeah. See, yeah. I told you you'd have this list, mate. Not too bad, not yeah. too bad. Yeah, I knew you were going to be hustling us about this. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to fly this aeroplane. Oh, I don't know, yeah, it's great, yeah. It is remarkably, um, uh, 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 it's, a, it's got a good feel to it, it's you know what I mean? It's not too yeah. easy, it's not too yeah. difficult, it's just got a nice, yeah. that power steering thing, yeah. you know. So we're coming up to Lockheed Lockheed. now. Can you sit on the yeah. left? Yeah, okay. I've got one approaching yeah. Lockheed. Yeah, Virgin, one vice ready for departure. Just going to come back off the throttles here, just going to roll in, I think. Ready for departure, Virgin 1. Virgin 1, uh, continue uh, Bravo, Link 28, hold uh, November Bravo 1. Okay, uh, Bravo, Link 28, November Bravo 1. So it's that turning point up here, yeah? So that's pretty much straight. Keep on going. Yeah. Link 28 is looks like it's going to be the third on the right. So we want to go a little bit? Yeah, a little further out. So you can see, you can see Link 29, not that one. It'll be the next one after that, Link 28. So you're going to ask me, I'm going to start getting ready for the lineups. Just, uh, just do a little chime for the cabin. Just let's see, so you're going to jink over to the left here. So this is link 29, so you're going to go left here, and then on to the next right, okay? I will override that right. So you'll see the different categories of holding points, and they're due to the protection levels of what kind of approaches Heathrow are doing. So the high level of automation they're using... My turn here, sorry? Yep, turn. Right, right here? Yeah. That's it. Concord over there. You've got a nice there shot is. from there. there. Is. That's it. So as you see, as oh. soon as you put that yeah, turn yeah. on, loses all the you, you lose all the momentum, don't you? Yeah. yeah. That's it. So you just anticipate it back on the pad. Easy, oh. son. Easy. We'll see runway disagree. Just have a quick look at Runway 27 yeah. left. Yeah. Runway 27 left, which is the thrust was up. Right. 31, so we're in 182 degrees, one private knot, so uh, you're clear takeoff from way 27 left. Okay, so we'll roll on here. Clear takeoff, 27 left, Virgin 1. So we double check, runway 27 left, that's what we're cleared for, that's the runway we're on. And you asked me for the lineup checklist, which is done. Lineup checklists are complete. And he's actually cleared us to go, so we can, you can stop if you want. Or you can carry on. How going. do I stop? Just put the brakes on. So, so line up with the and runway first. And that's the top. That's the top of the brake. Pedal, Correct. Is it? Yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah. Do you want me to help you out there just to get that lined up? Want to? Want to be nice to you, Jerry? To st only to start with before we. Uh, okay. Before we. Uh, that's it. Really good. 
So is it, is, is it the... Uh, okay, that's me All right. breaking there, yeah? Yeah, brilliant. So I'm a little bit... Yeah, a little bit off the centre line, so I'm uh, uh, pitching that way, aren't I? So. Yeah. So, just as a recap, all right, you're going to spool up and just bring the thrust levers up to about there, all right? I'll say stabilise, then you press toga. Yep. Okay. Just so steer down the runway using the rudders. Yep. Aircraft call V1, I'll call you VR or rotate, and then pitch up to your toga reference line. Okay. Any questions? You happy with no, what you're doing? No, I'm quite happy. Um, right. right. But we're going to use uh, we're going to use a lot of runway here, are we? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Um, right. just to just just to give the audience an idea of um, how how uh, it's very interesting that the engines are, are so efficient. Uh, the, yeah. the, the aircraft itself works so well with the engines uh, as a married family that the uh, the aircraft will use a lot of, as, as as much runway as it needs to run. Why? Why is that? Yeah. So everything on performance nowadays is optimised. So, uh, for instance, you very rarely use full power on takeoff. So we'll always use reduced power. Those calculations we make when the flight closes. So it's only when the flight closes, we know exactly how heavy the aircraft is going to be. I see. Then we'll work out our takeoff performance, which will be our speeds and how much power is used. We've preset the power, we've calculated that already on the ground. Um, so we use the exact amount of power that we need, plus a little margin for safety as well. Okay. Okay? Okay. So that's why it will always use. If we've got a longer runway, the aircraft will go, oh, okay, we've got a long runway, we can use less power. And what that does in effect, it means less maintenance costs, yes. less fuel. Yes. That's the name Simple of the game. Simple as that. Simple yep. as that, yeah. Okay, GP, uh, let's run that, that, that last video. Uh, we're going to run a VT for uh, just to show you exactly what we're talking about in terms of that long uh, rollout. And uh, we'll be back lined up and ready to go in a couple of minutes. Okay, GP, run VT4, please. The lines are coming up so slowly, and you're thinking, "Are we going to right?" Then you look at the airspeed, in, uh, the, 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 the speed indicator, and you're doing like 140, 150 knots. Before you know it, next thing you know is you're at 160 knots, and the aircraft says, "Let's go," running it full length. Dreamliner likes to use a lot of runway just to uh, manage the engines. So you can set a ballpark figure, and that's kind of what you're looking for to start with, right, right about there. Okay, and that's right. a visual thing that you're doing on there rather than a feel thing on the box. Bit of both. It's, it's a bit of both. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. You get to know. Can I, can, are you on the brakes? Can I just yeah, feel the that? Set, yeah, just, just about there. Yeah, so okay. round about okay. where the, the four yeah. four. And when we're up to is. a certain point, then we're going to hit toga. I'll yeah. say I'll say gonna... stabilised. Okay, and then it's toga. And then it's toga. And then, and then, then as the cross levers come up, I'll nothing, say my cross levers. Yeah, yeah. And then you take your hand off there and put both hands on the control. I've got you. Just I've look out the window. Yeah. All right. You won't need it for this one. If you feel the aircraft, the wings aren't level. Put a correction in. Okay. Just react. Yeah. Just react to what you see. Yeah. Okay. With the ailerons. Okay. Steer it down the runway and then just pitch up on tag reference line. Okay. All right. And I'll wait for, call, for the call for V1. I'll yeah. call you rotate. Okay. Okay. Then you come back. All right. Everybody ready? Right. Okay. Are we? Um, live? We are. We are. Okay. So you're happy with what we're doing? I'm happy. With Any what questions, we're doing, Captain? Yes. Right. Okay. No, I mean no. <laughs> <laughs> That's brakes released. Okay. Uh, Virgin one second off. Thirty one, Roger. That's it, just about there. Just, so you just wait. See, there's, there's a lag. Big turbo fans always lag. Stabilized. And you press toga. There we go. My thrust levers. Okay. Wow. Wow, man. There you go, Jerry. We're off. Thrust set. Thrust rep. Engines are good. A quick glance down at both the airspeed indicators. 80 knots. I 
Lions come up already. Got in line. Brilliant. Rotate. So back on the controls. Keep it coming back. Keep it coming back. As you go a little bit faster than that. There you are. Positive rate. We'll go for the gear up. Right. Oh, we've got a bit of wind there, son. Yeah. So put the small big circle on top of the uh, small circle, all right? Okay, big all circle right. on top. There you go. Okay, there, there, we, go. there we go. Brilliant. There we go. Oh, oh, a bit windy today, mate. Oh, Those wings will be flexing away, eh? They will. 31 contact departures, 118825, today. 118825, there's your mum. You drop the engine power. Wow, she's sinking. There you are. That's the climb Okay, we're just leveling so out, yeah. Leveling off, so we're starting to accelerate now. Departures are low. Wow. This is the Virgin 1. Compton 3 Fox departure passing down to 2,000 km altitude, 6,000. 31, now uh, you're ready to identify to maintain altitude 3,000 feet, take a left turn heading 180 degrees. Okay, yeah, maintain altitude 3,000 feet, left heading 180 degrees. Uh, Virgin 1. So that's 3,000 set. Heading select 180 degrees. How does that feel, Jerry? It feels good. It feels good. Let's put the speeds up so don't get slow. Just lower that nose. Okay, so can you see the big aircraft? You see my house. Sorry. You can see your house. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, what's that? What's that car parked outside, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going? So I'm still following the, the big circle and the little it. circle. Okay. Put the big circle on top of the little circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. And wow. you can see there's on the left wing. Can you see that little vector below? Yes, I do. Yes. That's showing you what the speed is going to be in a few seconds. Okay, right. okay. Virgin so 1, continuing to turn left, uh, heading 110 one degrees. Left heading 110 degrees, Virgin 1. Oh, oh, Clouds, where are we going? Uh, Here we go, it's going to get off. Take off, check this complete. Oh, here we go, we're starting. We're losing you now, we're losing Jerry on the ground. So how does that feel? It feels good. It's, it's remarkably, uh, it's remarkably um, responsive, isn't it? You it know. is. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty You're cool. You're doing really well. Yeah. Doing really well, mate. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. good. And all in this, uh, all in this head-up display as well. Yeah. Which is remarkable because otherwise I'll be looking down at the. Uh, yes. At the, the screens, which you don't really want to be doing, do you? Really. Correct. You do. You do get used to looking down. I mean. Not many aircraft have huts. To be yes, of course, of it's course. Something you get, you know, you get used to. We, we, you know, which is perfectly fine. So if I wasn't using a hut, I would be, I would be marrying the uh, the yellow, uh, the sorry, the pink. Yeah. So you got flight dress on your PFD. Yeah, yeah. You'll be using yeah. that instead. I see. I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dropping so the fuel, eh? yeah. Dropping the fuel. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like John's going to take you around for an ILS. Okay. This is light. Um, I, I think we're uh, so all that. Happy to take vectors, John. We'll, uh, I'll get this this by the time we go, this will be all done. Yeah. Bugs. Four, two, seven left. So that's bug, see that little bug you'll see on it where it says up? Uh, you can see on your speed tape on the left hand side you've got 260 knots. Oh, I'm slowing down, you've got that little area showing. I got you up, yeah, I've got you up. And then I've got the lowest speed there selected where it says up. That's the slowest we can go without okay. putting flaps down. Okay. okay. 31 left and heading 090 degrees, uh, descend to altitude 2500 feet, QNH 1013. Okay, left heading 090, descent to altitude 2500 feet, QNH 10, uh, so uh, 
3,000 feet and 0, 090 0 on the heading. So we're pretty much we're just going past Heathrow now, just for your mental awareness. Yes, yeah. Heathrow's down over your, on your left hand on shoulder. Left now, hand side, right? Yeah, yeah. Start, gotcha. Help slowing you down, alright? Okay. So that's flap one. As soon as the flap's running, see if we've got the one I can bring the speed back to the next buck. Okay, yeah. Excellent. You're doing a fantastic job there, mate. <laughs> Thanks, That's mate. great. Yeah. yeah. You're, your fans will be very disappointed that you're doing so well. <laughs> You're obviously concentrating quite hard, Joe. You've gone very quiet. This not doesn't happen I'm, very often. Mate, in my Ladies and gentlemen, tonight. this is Joe Jerry Dial went quiet. On. <laughs> All I'm going to see in my dreams tonight is a little, yeah, a green circle with another little green circle. Yeah, you're going to see that when you go to sleep tonight. Yeah. 31 left turn, only 350 degrees base left. 350 degrees base. So okay, you see, so I've selected calm, the speed. This is a relatively calm approach, is it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. So I saw him smiling. I saw him smiling in my yeah. peripheral vision. He knows what you're going to be doing next. <laughs> this is around about 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So we've got 11, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, about 30 miles to run, I reckon. So we're uh, established now, are we? Or not yet. So not yet. that's the centre line there. Oh, I've got you. So, yeah. Yeah. so we're going to got one more big turn. Yeah. He's going to yeah. probably turn you on in probably about two miles, and he's going to give you about a 30 degree turn on. Yeah. Fedron on left turn, any three one zero degrees. Uh, cleared Alice Fred from way two seven left. Cleared left. Three one zero degrees cleared. Eilish approach to some approach. So there's, he's given us a heading, and he's cleared us the approach, which has been very kind. So on the approach. So that's telling flight direct system to fly the approach I once see. we intercept. Okay. So you can see the glide path coming in now. That's uh, active. Jerry, you're doing a great job. This is scary. So if you were, had have had the fish today, um, yeah, well, that, well, that's it would be fine if yeah. I had the fish. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't like fish then. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it is it is it true that, um, or is it just an old wives' tale that that, that the, the pilots have to have different different meals, or that that's a very old, uh, yeah, long-standing yeah. tradition I for see. that yeah, exact yeah. reason. Yeah. You know, catering standards have. Improved. Yes. Um, yes. But you, you can. It's down to the choice on the day. But of generally course. speaking, uh, most people do have different meals. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to help you out a bit there with a bit more flat. Come here, localize and capture. Any second now. Look at that. That's a very nice turn on that man. So you're going to turn your anticipating that turn. Yeah, that's it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Just going to give you the gear. Right. Flat 20. Alright, you start slowing down now. Oh, Jim, this is really nice. <laughs> I knew you were hustling us. <laughs> you, you're a hustler. Never play me at full. Yeah. Never play me at full. Right, I'm going to do that six and a half miles now. Right. I got a uh, runway in sight. Excellent. Right, so, let me just come back to you. 31, contact the tower, 118505. 118505, that's fine. Let's for those. Petro Tower, Virgin 1, it's five and a half miles on the left. 31, the surface wind 182 degrees, 15 knots, you are clear to land, runway 27 left. Okay. Right, so landing, landing checklist complete, Jerry. So, quick recap of what you're going to do. Can you see the dotted line, which is your reference line? I see my dotted line. Right, you want to put that line over. You see the Varsies on the left-hand side of the runway? Uh, 
Aussies. Okay, we'll stick with the the, um, the two whites and the two reds, which are perfect. Yeah. You, that's kind of really where you want the reference line. Is that the pappies? Yes. Okay. Pappies are, yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. So you're doing a really good job on your flight cue guidance. Yes. When you hear 30, yeah. the aircraft's going to count down to you. Yes. On the red outs. Yeah. When you hear the word 30. Yes. A slight check on the control. And when I say check, not bringing it back, it's almost just like you're, you're tensing your biceps slightly, yeah, just squeezing yeah. the grip, just a small yeah, flare. Yeah. And as you do that, you bring the thrust levers to idle. Okay. All right? Okay. So you're happy to put the, uh, your left hand on the thrust levers yeah, now? I'm happy to put my go. hand on the right, thrust levers now. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Brilliant. So 30, slight check. Bring the thrust levers to idle. It's nice, very nice. 500. So you can feel the, the thrust levers coming in for you, just looking yeah, after yeah, you nicely. Yeah, yeah, it's looking after nice me. Nice yeah. correction. So, like you said, when you get close to the ground, the tendency is to over control slightly, so you just want to keep those movements small. Yeah, yeah. approaching okay. minimums. Check. Small movements, yeah. wait, see what you get first and Minimums. then react to it. Okay? We're gonna continue. That's it, that's it. Just keep it keep it driving 100. down. Okay, keep it driving, keep it driving down. Fifty. Forty. And Thirty. Check. That's 20. it. That's it. Oh tippy yeah. toe, tippy toe. Ooh. There we go. And down. Oh easy son. Easy, oh, we're easy here. Way. Easy. <laughs> there we are. That's why you strap in. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Brilliant. Yeah. Sorry, fellas. Sorry, right. sorry about that. That's right. There's a few gin and tonics that <laughs> have fallen over in the back yeah, there. Yeah. That's all right. That's, that's okay. <laughs> that was uh, that was new. That was new for me. That was that's new for me. Brilliant. Wow. Wow. Well okay. 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 And that was uh, in relatively calm conditions, was it? Yeah. That was like there was no wind there at all. Okay. Okay. It was just right. that it was the whole um, that last sequence was where it got me. That that last Jerry, sequence. You just landed. Seven eight seven. Well yeah, done, mate. Only just. Let me show, let me show your hands. Well Sorry done. Sweaty hands, fellas. That's right. <laughs> um, okay, so we, um, yeah. GP, uh, I need to, I need, Jilly, I need to, I need to uh, put you off, off, off onto the other headset. I can hardly talk. I'm so freaking nervous. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I'm Yeah, it is. Oh, freaking I have got a full head of hair, but I don't know if that's going to be the case when I uh, leave it. So how do you feel? How was that oh, for you? That was great. That was great. Brilliant, wasn't I, it? Wasn't, I wasn't overly happy with the um, with the um, with right. the with the, with the last. It was really good. Bit, um, it was really good. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she she swerved right off. Hold on a minute. Do you want to reposition your dome off? Yeah. 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 Y
those two small I'm with you, rounds yes, don't, yes. that have like kind of been your life yes, for yes. the whole time. And now you've got to let go of those, and then you've got to switch onto your aircraft symbol up to your dotted line. And, and the right. dotted line will, will come in once I've, once I've pushed the toga? Or, Correct, uh, when you okay. press the toga. Okay, and interestingly enough, I just I noticed that the, 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 um, the intensity of those lights, you can really see those lights a long way out, can't yes. you? Yes, yeah. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, we're ready to go. Are we, are um, we configured? We're just going to um, reposition uh, we've got. Approaching? Approach is in, yeah, that right. should be there. Uh, yep, that's good. 11.8 miles, flat five. Right, so we'll, when John releases you, it takes a while just to settle down a bit. So we might okay. get a few. Um, so we'll let, let the autopilots okay. settle down, then we'll hand it over for you. Okay, all right. So you can valiantly so fly the wind shear scan. So, taking the throttles again? When you hear, it'll be very obvious. When you <laughs> yeah. hear wind shear, okay. it'll be pretty obvious. Okay, I'm um, We'll talk through it. Don't have to remember anything. Yep. We'll help you out, right? Okay. You're so going to be great. It's going to be great. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? Happy to go, sir. Okay. Okay, you have control. Yeah, flat five. Oh, right. okay. yeah, right. that's, that's the config, that's the sim repositioning, okay? Speed it. Alright, you happy? Yeah, yeah. Which, which am I on? Am I on the plane or am I on the circles? Yeah, oh, on the circles now. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm on the circles. Fly the circles. It's not turning left and it's not turning right, it's, uh, it's locked. It feels That's locked. right, that's the autopilots are in, so oh, we're just it? doing that until okay. you get settled. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. So I'm fly, ready. I'm going to take the autopilot out for you, okay? Okay, sir. So that's you now, all right? Gotcha. So I'll give you a bit more flap. Uh, Virgin 1, surface wind is uh, 180 degrees, gusting to 30 degrees. You are clear to land, runway 27 left, and uh, caution wind shear reported in the aircraft head. That's all copied, and clear to land at 27 left, Virgin 1. Just going to help you out with... You right there, Jerry? I'm good, thank you. Excellent. <laughs> still with us. Airfield QH1013 is saying cross jet. Give you the final flap. Alright, so enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll yeah. talk you through it. As we said before, watch the cues, let the fly by wire do its thing, put in a correction, try not to chase it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So put in a correction first, pause, yeah. see what you get, and then see if you need to recorrect. Okay? Yeah. Gotcha. Brilliant. So you can feel that at the moment. We're kind of grabbing slightly up yes, to the yes, right. Yes, yeah? yes, yes. And as you can see, the queue is right over to the right hand side. Yes. So that's 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 the crab. That's the that's, crab. Yeah. In fact, because we've got instruments on there. It's actually a dotted line, so it's actually a lot more yes. further over. Yes, right, I see, yes. Yeah. So it's kind of right on your limits. So that's really nice. That's really, really nice. If we were going to carry on with the landing, as we've done the last one, when you hit the 30, when you flare, yeah. that is when you remove the drift with the rudder. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good luck with that. that that's looking nice. Looking really nice. You've got the right amount of movements. That's brilliant. So you can see the speed's increasing there. That's slightly different for a bit of which Look at that speed come down there at 10 knots. Yeah, so there's a bit, yeah, of, yeah. bit of shear there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, oh, you can feel that Whoa, now. Yeah. Here it comes. See the thrust levers in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. One thousand. Mr. Patrick, set. So if you can, whenever you're hand flying, 
I know we've got all thrust, always have the other hand on the thrust levers. Very Excellent, much. brilliant. Nice, Jerry. Can you see that speed trim vent on your wing? Uh, see, it's above the ring on your flight path vector there. Uh, I'll leave you to it. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> see, you're busy. Don't confuse Yes, right. <laughs> We need some classical music or something just to calm you down a bit. Oh. Hello, oh, look at that shear there. Hello. See, Hello. so Hello. stick with it for now. Stick with it. There you are. Wind shear. Wind shear toga. Fire it. Put it up. Put it up. Put it up. Right. right. That's it. On the line. On the line. That's it. On the line. That's it. Oh, okay. That would have been spectacular. There you go. There you go. What's Keep that? going with it. Keep going with it, Jerry. Don't change anything. There we are. On that line. That's it. On the line. Excellent. Wow. Climb right in. You've got man, that 3, was nuts. <laughs> okay, just watch your speed. Okay, we're getting a little bit fast now, but we'll get another warning in a second. So, so this is the next threat because we're out of the wind shear now. Yes. So we're now climbing like a homesick angel. Yeah. yeah all right. Yeah. So you can actually start busting the speeds. All right. Yeah. Right. So, right. so the thing now to do is make sure you do the correct carry on procedure and not try and put the gear up because that's instinctive. So the first thing you do is put go to flap twenty. Yes. All right. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Where's my dotted Brilliant. line gone, Zach? Right. It's gone. <laughs> we lose it at 400 feet. Okay. That's okay. the dotted line oh, last with you. Tuesday. So where am I aiming for? Am I aiming All for right. the straight so single line now? Straight up. Okay. Okay. Because we're out of the thing now. Yeah. I can give you a, a heading. Here comes my little circle. All right. There we are. See my little circle coming yeah, up there now. Yeah, because that's at 2,000 feet. So I'll give you something sensible up there. I'll okay. give you 4,000 feet. All right. Now the gear up, Brilliant. There's the 4,000 feet, flap 20, and there's the gear up. So we're at okay. 4,000 feet, right, look down. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. going to up to 4,000 feet. All right, happy? Yeah, happy, happy. How did you like that? How's that, was that for you? That was pretty insane, man. That was pretty insane. <laughs> and that was, uh, what was, uh, what, were, what were we gusting there, John? Uh, I was gusting about uh, 45, 50 knots. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. I'll man. give you uh, I think that was less than uh, you. Uh, uh, the storm was at units. So yeah. we, uh, we were, we um, were, we were definitely at around about 70, weren't we? Can we input that? Uh, we can put a crosswind in that much, yeah. yeah. If you want to see it. Uh, okay. Give it a go. See what it was really like. Yeah. Stand by. Okay. It's nice knowing you. <laughs> Should we try? Shall I try and land it in that 70 mile an hour? I wouldn't try. I think no. that might be. <laughs> yeah. No, okay, right. That might be a bit too much. Okay. <laughs> Even for you, sky god like you, Jerry. Don't get carried away, son. Right, here yeah. we go. We're going to have to yeah, wipe that smile off his face. Yeah. <laughs> right, here we go. This is, this is really it. I can literally feel beads of sweat building up on my face here. Though, this, you know. Ted Striker Ooh, special. <laughs> Ted Striker. Yeah. So, you'll see a noticeable crab on the approach, all right? So just stick with that until we hear the 30 feet, yeah. right? Particularly when you get close to the ground, you're going to want to take that crab off. Stick with it. Even if you land with a bit of crab still on, that's perfectly acceptable. Okay. All right? Okay. Try and get the, leave the crab until you're in the flare, and then as you hit for the 30, just squeeze that run around okay. and check at the same time. Okay. All right? Are you happy? Okay. okay. Brilliant. Okay. And this will be on the flight path vectors, the circles. Right, okay, All I'm right. with you. Yep, yep. Excellent. So we've got an ILS. So this is a, um, a demo only. It's going to be outside the aircraft crossfit limits, so we'd, you would go around off this. Yeah, this is going to be yeah. another go around. Yeah. It? Yeah, okay. And then we'll go for a, uh, another, see if I can get a straight down the middle line. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it to yeah. finish off with that, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Um, you ready, Zen? I am Here ready. We go. Here we go then. Autopilot's in. Okay. It's just, this is going to start shouting at me because we've got um, a, a changeover with the checklist database, which is why that, that keeps coming up. Okay. Okay, your control. 
you have control. Are you ready to take it, Jerry? I'm ready to take it, sir. Alright, all the pilots coming out. One, the uh, surface wind is 182 degrees 5 zero knots, gusting to 65 knots. If you're brave enough, you're clear to land, runway 27 left. Virgin 1 is feeling brave, we're clear to land, 27 left. Alright. We're good. We're good. We're good. Wow, look Just at that. Keep looking that. Out of the, uh, so that's it, looking out the side window. Yeah. Try not to let that distract you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Really nice yeah. feel this aircraft. Oh, it's got a great One feel. Thousand. Yeah. Look at that. Man. Look at this. Oh my goodness me. Cool. Help you out a bit there. Sorry about that. Right, just keep it slightly high. That's oh, my fault. Just keep driving it down. Keep driving it down. Nice, that looks really good, Jerry. Just slightly high, which is fine. Nice, that was captured. Excellent. Let's keep driving it down. So. 500. Oh, nice, really nice, Jerry. Hold that attitude. See how the runway uh, aspect looks the same shape Approaching all the way down. Yeah. Check. Yeah. I'm 31, you cleared a low go around off this approach. Low go around. Low go around off the approach, approach one. Okay, so stick with it for now. Stick with it for now. Get ready to hit toga. 100. Okay, press toga. Go around. So you say, go around, flap 20. Off we go. Just make sure you hit toga buttons. Did I do that? There you are. It's now. We're now now. Positive rate. Yeah. Just wait. Gear up, sorry, speed up. So this runway has got a very low go around altitude. So you've got 500 feet to go and then you're going to level off. So just be ready for it, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when you go. continue climb to altitude, 3,000 feet. Okay, this is, this is a nice guy, this guy, isn't it? Don't listen to what we said yet. <laughs> climb to altitude, 3,000 feet, version one. There you are. Speed L and F out. So that's 600 feet to go. All right, so how is that your circles looking? Well, my circles... Um, yeah, follow the circles. Oh, follow the circles. Yeah, oh, there you go. Okay. So we're switching okay, on to yeah. the circles okay, now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, I've lost me... Um, there you are. So, nose forward. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I nose got forward. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. All right. Brilliant. Jerry yeah. Look at that. Might get a little bit of a stall there. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. easy. There you go. Oh, easy, oh, easy. easy. Yeah, just come yeah, off the yeah. back. Yeah, oh, I'm just trying to catch the bleeding circle. There you are, you're doing an air display <laughs> over uh, Hemel Hempstead. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll just uh, right. do a quick reposition for you and you can... Uh, I'll get the wind a little bit more gentle for How you. How doing? I'm good, I'm All right. Good. So now what have we got, John? Uh, we, we've got uh, 10 knots straight down the strip, as we call it. 10 knots down the strip. This is going to be... It's your opportunity to redeem yourself. Yes, 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 yes. See, was that just that little... Um, it was just that little... As I, as I was on that final moment of... It was the... I think it was the flare mm -hmm. that I, I inputted left rudder. I think I did, because it, it, it veered to the left, didn't it? So I need to make sure that I keep that centre line. When, oh, it, when I'm not, when I'm actually on the on the on the on the final stages of like the 30s, the 20s, that sort yeah. of thing, am I still on the circles? Yeah. 
Uh, at that stage, you're, you're transferring visually. Okay, transferring right. visually. Oh, okay. okay right. I'm so gonna, yeah, you're yeah, using. Yeah. So right. I think that's what. It, so you're was. you're visually going. If it's like instead of up and down, you're going from the HUD to the runway. I'm HUD yeah. to the runway. Yeah. The okay. Circles will keep you all the way down, but at that stage, you're you're then you want to keep you want a t a, the touchdown zones on the runway. Okay. I'll, for the purpose of today, I'll, I'll just eyeball that. All right. But just keep it coming down. Okay. All right. Okay. The, what you'll tend to do is you will, as you get close to the ground, you'll get a bit ground shy, and you'll start pulling back early. Yes. All right. Right. So I think that's it's what also happened. I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've, very yeah, yeah. precise. So basically, with this aircraft, you flare at 30 feet. If you flare at 31 feet, you'll fly it halfway down the runway. If you flare at 29 feet, you will carve your JD initials in the runway. Right. Okay. No, it's, the first one. it's it's pretty uh, yeah, critical. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we'll, we'll talk you through it as we done. So here we go. Here we go, then, folks. Uh, so great. Yeah, let me know when you're happy to go. Is that the yeah, it's probably because on position, mate. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, we'll do that when we're released. Um, I'll put the autopilot in. So, you happy with what you're doing, Jerry? I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. So circles. Circles. Then visual. All right. Circles and visual. Yeah. Uh, and tell me, give me the, give me the visual point. What is that? What sort of like? As I'm crossing the threshold. Basically, or? where the, the vases are. That's okay. what you can. Uh, that's you. where right. you kind of aim it to touch down. I'm with you. Okay. Um, so, once we're on the, when you get to 30 feet, mainly retard cross levers. Yes. Okay. And pull the, these are the reverses. Pull them up. Turn it on as you would say. Okay. Okay. Full reverse and pull them up to the vertical. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Easy. I'm with you. I'm Easy. With you. Have to go. Have to go. Ready? Okay, you have control. Excellent. And order brakes when uh, flat thirty and order brakes when you're ready. Oh. Don't worry about that. That's good. Right, we're gonna take the autopilots out, okay? So try and get all the alarms in as we can. All right. As many alarms as you can get. Yeah, yeah, as many as we can get. Yeah. All right. Brilliant. <laughs> this is your big moment, Jerry. It is. Here we go. This is it. Here we go. There's, I can see a black van in that field over there. Yeah, yeah. No, a guy a with a lime green hat yeah. standing in a field. Okay, so I can feel those throttles auto thrusting. Yes. So I don't really need to do anything at this stage, do I? No. Always have your hand on thrust levers anyway. Okay. All right. And you, you can feel what the aircraft's doing then. It's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. communicating with yes. you. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Mm. So, as that's a little bit like it'll pitch up and then you feel the increase. Do you want surface wind is 270 degrees, 10 knots, so you're clear to land, runway 27 left. Clear land 27 left, 31. Right? 1000. Missed approach out to your set. Our new missed out, missed out, missed approach out to your 3000 feet. So stay with the circles for now. Small corrections, also. Approaching minimums. Check. Minimums. You say continue. Okay, so just keep driving it down. Just keep it going down. That's 100. it. That's it. Keep driving it. Keep it driving 50, down. 40. Right. 30. Break. There you are. That's it. Okay. Back, 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 back. A little bit more. Oh, that's right. That's right. Good. Brilliant. Turn on the reverse. Did Easy, son. Reverse is up. Yeah, you've done it. Perfect. Look at that. 120 knots. Just keep it in a straight line. Let the auto brakes do their thing. Nice job. Nice Thank one, Jerry. Sir. Thank you, sir. 
I probably wouldn't sign off your license, but that wasn't bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, feel that like... was fantastic, man. That was absolutely awesome. Thank you, Brilliant. Virgin. Thank you, Zane. Thank you, John. Thank you to all the teams. Big shout out to Gareth as well and uh, all the uh, social media team as well. And uh, Craig, our cameraman. Thank you, Craig. What a fantastic opportunity there. How do I get out of this? Don't that? run off until we turn the motion off. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, motion's coming off. Oh, that was Excellent. awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, just rotate it. Just oh. rotate it. There you go. Yeah. We're stuck in here forever. Yeah. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. What an absolute pleasure. Um, I hope it did all right, Zane. You did um, fantastic, But mate. again, I have yeah. to say, it does show, a, it's a big testament to all of you guys who, uh, who do oh. such a fantastic job. And really, Fine. I've got to be honest with you, if it wasn't for you, you pilots out there, um, we would but we wouldn't have Big Jet TV, so cannot thank, thank you very much. Sure. And thank you for all your... That, yeah. and, it, and, and we, one of the major things that we do get, I have to say, and I've said it time and time again, and I will continue to say it, and that is that we get so many messages in from people saying how uh, comfortable they feel. And these are people who have a fear of flying. Good. And how That's now they, really after fancy, having yeah. watched that last show uh, yeah. of Storm Eunice, they, they were mentioned, they've mentioned, so many people have mentioned how confident they feel now because they know that they're in they're in very culpable hands and uh that's great to know well looked after yeah that's yeah brilliant. no definitely and that we'll always continue to give that feedback so uh hopefully um hopefully this will give them uh something a little bit of uh, to uh, to understand that even um well i i, I did all right no, i did really well mate yeah, yeah. yeah. i suspect you're going to do a bit better than you said you were yeah. he's uh, been practicing he's, he's did, yeah he's definitely <laughs> been practicing yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. i'm down the road in the van <laughs> Guys, thank really, you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Great to thank meet you. Thank you to everybody. Yeah. Uh, Jilly, that's a wrap. Thank you, guys. Take care. Good night. Thanks for watching. Cheers.